Beer Fest is happening right now in Singapore and in the house we've got the head of our Api Aki Pilago Guri. <laughs> you want to try that again? <laughs> Maybe, Maybe I should leave it to them, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. We've got Malcolm and Robert in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you name, tell us. I, I know the name's pretty hard to say. Archipelago. Thank you. Yeah. Archipelago. <laughs> Wait a minute. You try, you try. Wait a minute. Maddie, you could not pronounce the word archipelago. I can. <laughs> Collection of islands. Say, try again. <laughs> I just need a beer that's fine. Archipelago. Archipelago. Ah. No! Archipelago. <laughs> Never mind. Professional DJ yeah, yeah. <laughs> cannot pronounce archipelago. I told you I need a beer to do that. Oh, I can help you with that. Yeah, no yeah. Oh. Um, so you're torturing us because you brought us some beer, but we can't drink, but we'll definitely need it after the show. Who says? Nobody can see what I'm doing. Sure, sure, sure. So welcome on the show, Malcolm. Thank so you. Beer Fest is taking place right now. Oh, it is, yeah. We're just down there last night and uh, good crowd and uh, the, it's a lot of fun. And we've got some of our beers down there as well. Are you doing anything? special for beer fest yes we are okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what they're laughing about is that i'm holding a poster now of our, our new beer which is called coco's cream yes. which is a clown holding a cream pie yeah and it's the the positioning statement is creamier than a clown's cream pie <laughs> oh my god you get it you get it if you don't you don't if you're looking for this beer you just look out for the scariest clown poster you can find uh -huh. and that's where you will find this delicious beer but you know what attracts me to the poster uh, it says coco cream and yes. who doesn't like the sound of cocoa cream yes and you put some cocoa cream into your beer what well, we did rob's here with us yeah and he's the brew master yeah this is a white chocolate cream ale so um while we were making it uh, at one point you boil the beer so uh we went up there with um a lot of chocolate how much chocolate did we put in I put about 10 12 kilos in wow that is a lot of chocolate <laughs> that is a lot of chocolate. and i have to tell you even yeah. before i knew what the beer was called when i tasted it you can taste the chocolate in the beer yeah. it's like yeah. a really you strong flavor it. yeah, yeah it's beautiful yeah, and yeah. what what is the difference you guys between like craft beer and then the normal beer that somebody might have uh many craft is like a it's a mentality it's all about um the final product the uncompromised final product right and also it's about delivery of the final product so uh, we don't pasteurize is the main thing. Everything is cold, play, uh, cold chain supply. So normally in a beer, it's pasteurized, which means they do they like boil it or what to get out yes. the impurities or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. they heat it. They heat it, mm -hmm. uh, but that also will in the end affect the taste. It changes the taste. Changes the taste. Some people prefer it, some people don't. It's just like pasteurized milk. Exactly. Actually, the milk doesn't taste as good once you pasteurize <laughs> yeah, it, right? Exactly. And it's the same with beer. There you go. So you guys handle your beer like you handle milk. That's it. Absolutely, cold chain. Like we, yeah, we, it's very uh, well time consuming because we also hand fill the kegs as well. Right. I mean, so Archipelago is you know it is a small brewery. We have about six staff and we do everything by hand. Wow. You know, I was down in the the, the brewing area. We're putting hops into uh, tea bags and throwing them into a tank, <laughs> stirring them around, you know, letting it sit there, going for each day, going, mm, yeah, that's okay. All right. I hope they're paying that's you good. enough for it. Oh, it sounds crazy. like a dream job. You'll be doing it for free, won't you? I, I love it. Yeah, yeah. My, I hope my boss is so, not listening. You, you, know, guys, <laughs> you, you were telling us the beer never actually gets bottled. Ever? That's it. No, yeah. we don't bottle it. It's just straight into the keg, you know. It's like, you know, the tanks of milk and a milk truck. Mm -hmm. ah. And... Out to the outlets. And, and that will always limit your, your ability to produce you well, know, mass can, quantities of beer. Right? You're yeah. absolutely yeah. right. I mean, we can't export because mm -hmm. we just don't want to take the chance that the heat might affect the, the beer. Right. So, yeah, you know, we're, we're Singapore. Yeah. And now craft beer is getting... Oh, yeah, we should have gone, yeah, we're yeah. Singapore! Come on, <laughs> guys, man, applause. where was that? Uh, <laughs> Aussie, uh, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Yeah. Oi, oi, oi! No, no, no. <laughs> we don't have one of those for Singapore. No, no! What should we call that? We Singapore, 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 Singapore! Yeah. It just doesn't have the same Ole, name. ole, ole, ole! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but um, Malcolm, tell us, right? Um, isn't craft beer like getting extremely popular now that some people are actually brewing it in their own homes? Right? Yeah, look, I think craft beer is getting very popular. Um, yeah, and you can brew it at home, and it's really easy. You can go get a, a set for about a hundred dollars. Oh, uh, you get your liquid malt, throw it in, bit of hot water, cool it down with some cold water, throw some yeast on top, close the the top of the container. Come back in uh, a week or two, put it in your bottles, add a bit of honey in it, and then drink it. <laughs> really? That's, That's it. it. That's it. But isn't it hard in Singapore to get ingredients because we're not exactly an agricultural hotbed? So, like, where do you source <laughs> for all your... Yeah. Haven't you been to Kranji? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but is it hard to find, like, the grains and all these kinds of ingredients and stuff in Singapore? Yeah, everything's imported. So all our grain comes from Australia and the UK, mm. and all the hops are coming from... We get them from New Zealand, and we get them from the uh, UK as well. So you 
came from America. Be, have to be quite active and proactive in terms of looking for all this mm. stuff. Oh, yeah, everything's countries. ordered months before. Is I, that right? Yeah, yeah. I also have to ask, you know, Malcolm made it sound like it was so easy, right? Just get the kit and you can start brewing your own beer. Rob, you're a brewmaster. Is it really as easy as it sounds? <laughs> um, can I go and make my own cocoa beer now? <laughs> it won't taste as good. Um, in a word, no. No. <laughs> I mean, you could make it, but it won't taste half as good, right? Um, it tastes very different. It's quite technical, but um, you can still make it taste good, but it'll take a lot of more time and a lot more effort. You know, my husband is a beer drinker and he loves beer. I mean, he could, you, you could take away everything from him, even his wife and his kids, but not the beer, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a happy, happy story, Maddie. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth, right? So, and he always told me, like, let's just say if he has a cold, I go, hey, do you need medicine? Nah, I got beer. You know, yeah. anything can be cured with beer. Is it true that it has medicinal <laughs> properties? That's what I want to know. So yes, uh, I haven't, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been sick for about 10 years. There you go. Uh, there you, go. you think it's because of the beer? Of course. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yes, but beer, he sure. sounds beer. convincing. But beer is made with good stuff. You got like what hops? You got barley? You got malt? Right? Actually, it's quite healthy. Yeah, right? I, can't, I can't think it's of anything food. wrong well, with drinking beer in in moderate quantities. I suppose moderate, right? right? Absolutely. I have a yeah. question for you guys. Yeah, I don't mean to be antagonistic, right? But I'm a more of a whiskey drinker. <laughs> you can't help mm. himself. So I mean, I mean, like if you're in alcohol, right? Whiskey is a lot more efficient than beer. So, what is your reason <laughs> that you can give people for drinking beer? Instead of whiskey. Because <laughs> you can drink more of it. Is that, oh, is yeah. that why? Yeah. Make the exper- draw out the experience. Make yeah. it last longer. Yeah. Actually, s- stay for a couple of hours instead of so being on the floor after it's 10 a minutes. Social, <laughs> it's also a bit of a social thing then, right, Rob? It's the ultimate social thing. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. you can do it for four hours and you yeah. know, hang out with your buddies. It's That's not a, a wham-bam yeah. kind of thing, you know? I drink alone, so. <laughs> <laughs> says a lot. Says a lot. <laughs> it's another happy story. <laughs> so um, how can they find you at Via Fest Asia? Uh, we're in the rock. Uh, uh, tent, if you like. Yeah. So we're in the main area, so you'll see us there. Gotta try their cocoa cream. Yeah, it's please. fabulous. Is it this is gonna delicious. be an ongoing thing, or is it just for beer fest? Just for beer fest. Just for beer fest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just for, we, all the more reason to get down there before Sunday. Yeah, absolutely. Look for them. Okay, you say the name. Archipelago. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Esplanade, Esplanade. Okay, you know, Malcolm. Archipelago. I, I, I'll, we'll work on her, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, Malcolm and Robert. No worries, See you at Asia. Thank you.